Hypothyroidism is one of the most common thyroid disorders. One in 10 Indians suffer from it. So what happens to your body in this condition? The thyroid gland is a butterfly shaped organ located in the front of your neck that produces a hormone called thyroxine which is secreted into the blood and carried to various parts of the body. One of its main functions is to produce hormones that help regulate the body's metabolism, the process that turns food into energy. These hormones are called T3 and T4. The thyroid hormone controls almost every major body process. When your thyroid is functioning normally, it's constantly secreting hormones, keeping your metabolism functioning and all of your body's systems in check. But when the thyroid does not make enough hormones to meet your body's requirements, it results in a condition called hypothyroidism. And without enough thyroid hormones, many of your body processes slow down. So what symptoms will you experience? Hypothyroidism can show a variety of symptoms and differ among people. Symptoms of hypothyroidism can develop slowly over the years or for some people can develop quickly within a few months. Some of these include fatigue, need for more sleep, trouble waking up in the morning, muscle pain, hair thinning, in women, they could see irregular periods of fertility problems and difficulty losing weight. Who is most at risk of hypothyroidism? This condition can affect anyone regardless of age, gender and ethnicities. However, there are certain factors that can put you at a higher risk of developing hypothyroidism. Women are at a higher risk than men in developing this condition. The risk particularly increases during pregnancy, postpartum and around menopause. The risk increases with age in general, especially if you are above the age of 60. Family history of thyroid problems can also be another cause. Underlying autoimmune conditions such as type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, celiac disease or anemia. So how do you get diagnosed? Hypothyroidism cannot be diagnosed on symptoms alone. Your doctor will take several approaches such as taking into account your symptoms, family history, physical examination and blood tests. Hypothyroidism does not have a cure per se, but the symptoms can be managed completely with medications that help restore normal thyroid levels. So lately, if you've been experiencing a change in the way you feel or are exhibiting symptoms that have become severe with time, it is a good decision to speak to your doctor for a proper diagnosis.